Hello and welcome to the episode 252 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll see the first Hamburg residency of the Beatles hitting its midpoint, the lads working their way up the ladder of more prestigious engagements and a change of shape in one sinisterly known tune. On the evening of the 9th of September 1960, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed their 24th straight night at the Indra Club in Hamburg, West Germany. With this concert, their first residence in town reached its middle point. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best still on drums, but with Paul McCartney on bass instead of Stu Sutcliffe, performed at the Aintree Institute in Liverpool for another BK Promotions night. The lads had started to work regularly with promoter Brian Kelly and its organization. In 1962, the Beatles played an evening concert at the Cavern Club, sharing the bill with Clinton Ford, a singer with a couple of top 30 singles to his credits. And before closing the episode, let me remind you once again to visit www.simonmas.com support and see what you can do to make the difference. Of course, you can well choose to do absolutely nothing and I will still appreciate your listening. But wouldn't it be better if we all did our bit to help this community grow? Just a thought, the answer is yours. Thank you. On the 9th of September 1968, Chris Thomas, assistant of producer George Martin, received a note from Martin on his return to the EMI studios from a holiday. Martin announced to Thomas that he was himself on a holiday and urged him to make himself available to the Beatles from today until Martin's return. Thomas then became the de facto appointed producer of the sessions running for the remainder of September. Thomas later commented that it took the Beatles some time to accept his presence and his role. They didn't really need a producer anymore, having matured a reasonable experience in all phases of the recording. It was okay to work with George Martin out of habit, but a new producer? Thomas's first session ran tonight at the EMI Studios from 7 pm. 2.30 am. It was a difficult affair. After warming up with the recording of You're So Square, Baby I Don't Care, which saw the light with the release of the 50th anniversary edition of the White Album, the Beatles, or better, Paul McCartney, decided to re-record Helter Skelter. As we saw in episode 199, the piece was meant to be a slow blues, and so it was when the band started recording the first of the 18 takes of the rhythm track put to tape during the night. By the time take 21 was completed and everyone went home, the piece had gone out of control. For the recording of the rhythm track, John Lennon played badly bass, Paul McCartney was on electric guitar, playing the main riff, George Harrison was on a second electric guitar, and Ringo Starr was on drums. Take 21 was considered the best, and everyone adjourned the session to the next day to start the work on the overdubs. We'd better adjourn our travel through the Beatles' history to tomorrow's episode 2. We'll actually discover what happened in what I think was the most outlandish Beatles session ever. See you tomorrow for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.